Hey guys, in today's lesson we're going to go over talking about differential equations and slope fields. Uh, in the FRQ, I'm pretty sure you're going to get at least one question um, similar to this. Usually it's every year or every other year you get a, a differential equation. Now the first part, it's going to be, they're going to give you certain points and they're going to ask you to uh, graph the slope field or part of the slope, slope field. So what you're going to do, they're going to give you something like this. And I just made it a sub real quick. But at each point, you're going to go ahead and plug it in. Okay, x equals 1. This is the point 1, comma 1. So when x equals 1 and y equals 1, okay, you're going to get 4 over 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 3 is 4. So 4 divided by 2 is the slope of 2. So you're going to just graph it as, as best as you can a slope of 2. And then you're going to do the same thing with 1, comma 2. Okay, 1 and then 2 up here, you're going to get 5 halves. And you just graph it as well. Same thing over here. 1, comma 3, you're still going to get 2 on the bottom. On the top, you're going to get 3 plus 3, 6. 6 over 2. So that's going to give you a slope of 3. And then you just graph the slope as best as you can. What they don't want is they, they don't want to see a negative slope when it has to be a positive. And same thing here with 2, comma 1. Okay, 2, comma 1 when x is 2 y is 1, so then 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 thirds, and you just kind of do your best to graph the slope. And you do that with all the points, and you get your slope field. And that's basically all you do for the first part. Now for the second part, uh, it's a little bit more difficult, and I just kind of went ahead and did it just for sake of time. It says, <clears throat> let the y, let y equals f of x be the particular solution to the given differential equation with the initial condition of f of 4 equals 1. Now it says write an equation for the tangent line. So when I, right away when I see write the equation of the tangent line, I start off with this guy. Okay, And it says to the graph of y equals f of x at x equals 4. So they give me my initial condition and they know I know I have to write the equation so I start off with this guy. So what do I need? Well I need my slope and I need the point. Well, the point, they give it to me, 4 and 1. So x is 4, y is 1. Now, what about the slope? Well, that's where your differential equation comes into play, this guy. Okay. So what you do is you take your initial condition, plug it into here, and that's going to give me the slope at that particular point, which is what they want. So I plug it in, x equals 4, y equals 1, you get 4 fifths. This guy comes in here, and this is my equation of the tangent line at that point. Okay, so I'm done with the first part. The second part says use that equation to approximate the value of 2.2. So now what I did, I just kind of distributed the four fifths and then I brought the negative one over and this is what I get. So now to figure out 2.2, I plug in 2.2 into my x, use my calculator here and I end up with negative 0.44. And that's what I get. Okay. Now, part C. It says find the particular solution y equals f of x to the given equation with the initial condition f of 4 equals 1. So now they want the original equation given this condition here. Okay. So we start off with this guy here, our differential equation. We're going to have to separate the variables and do the antiderivative. So this guy, y plus 3 goes to the bottom dx goes to the top, you end up with this guy. All right, so now what happens? Well, you have to do the antiderivative. So I did u substitution, u equals y plus 3. That means du equals dy. Same thing over here. You let u equal x plus 1, and then du is equal to dx. And you end up with this, du over u, du over u. Well, what's the antiderivative of du over u? That's ln of u, okay? And so remember, I don't have this, okay? So I just have ln of u, which is y plus 3. And then we go ahead and continue. Now remember, when you take the antiderivative of an indefinite integral, you have the constant, okay? So we have this guy right here without the, without the e. So now what do I do? Because I need y equal. So I raise everything with the power of e. And what happens is this guy simplifies out. You're left with y plus 3. Now over here, remember, this 
is adding this constant here. Everything is being raised. It's e to the whole thing is raised right here. Okay. Well, then how do I get this? Well, remember uh, if I do x squared times x to the third, that becomes x to the 2 plus 3, right? Remember that? So that's what we're doing. So we're taking this and we're going backwards and we're separating it. Okay, because this has the same base. Okay. See, see here that this could be your base of e if you want. Okay, and then we go back and split it here. So e to this just gives me x plus 1, and then you have e to the c. So now, well, e to the c is just a constant c. And so we're left with this guy. Well, now we're going to use our initial condition for comma 1, and we're going to go ahead and find this value of the constant. So when x is 4, okay, y is 1, and then when you do the math, you end up with 4 fifths. Lastly, okay, what do you do? Well, you, this is your general equation, and then you just go ahead and put in your, your value for C, and you're done. This is your general equation. And if you graph this uh, differential equation, you're going to see that it is has a, has a linear uh, function. Okay, but let's go ahead and do another one. Hopefully that made sense, and let's just see if we can do as much as we can here. Same thing. Okay, we're going to go ahead and this time is negatives, okay? So this guy is negative 1, 1. So when x is uh, negative 1, okay, negative 1 on the bottom, and then y is 1, so 3 minus 1 is 2, okay? And then negative 1, let's say that's a 2 right there. And then let's go here and put um, 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. And the last one, 3, 1, negative 1, comma, 3, that would be negative 1. And 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. So here, the first one, your slope is going to be negative 2, so it's going to be going downward pretty steeply. Then the next one is negative 1, okay? And the next one is 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So what does that look like? A horizontal tangent, okay? And then you would do the same thing for all the other ones. So we'll just do one more set of points here. Negative 2, comma, 1. So a negative 2 comma 1, x is negative 2, okay, y is 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, and then negative 2 comma 2, so same thing, 1, and then negative 2, 3, negative 2 on the bottom and 3 on the top. So then you have, at this point you have a negative 1 slope, at this point you have negative 1 half, so less steep. Uh, maybe there, and then at the next one you still have a zero slope, okay, and that's it, I won't do the rest one, I think you guys get the hang of it, I really want to do the, the second part and the third part, it says let y equals f of x be the particular solution to the given differential equation, this is our initial condition, write the equation again of the line tangent to the graph, okay, so what do you do, y minus y1, equals m times x minus x1. Our initial condition is 2 and 5. So our slope, we don't know what it is yet. x equals 2, then y is going to be 5. How do I find my slope? Using this initial condition, okay? Because they want the tangent line at x equals 2. So this is the initial condition. This is the point that they want us. So uh, remember, dy dx is equal to 3 minus y over x. So let's see, what's my y? It's 5. So 3 minus 5. And what's my x? Is 2. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So over here I have a slope of negative 1. That's my equation of the tangent line. So now what do I do? All I have to do now is figure out f of 1.3. So I'm going to rewrite this real quick. So let's see here. Distribute the negative, that'll be negative x plus 2. Bring the negative 5 across, becomes a positive 5. So you're going to get y is equal to negative x plus 7. Now I need to do 1.3. So f of 1.3, you're going to get negative 1.3 plus 7. So f of 1.3 is going to give you 6.4. 6. No, 6.7. There we go. Okay, actually, no, 5.7. There we go. All right. 
and positive 5.7 alright so not too bad not too bad alright notice what I did as soon as it's write the equation of the tangent line I start off with this initial condition your x and your y where do you get your slope from the differential equation plug it in boom once you got all that make it look nice and pretty do your uh, do your math plug in the 1.3 into the x all right, now last one, it says find the particular solution of y equals f of x to the given equation, given this condition. Okay, so this is where we have to separate. So we have dy dx is equal to 3 minus y over x. So this is where we have to separate our variables. So the y goes over here, the dx up here. We want the y's with the y's. So we have dy over 3 minus u, y is equal to dx over x. Do the antiderivative. And just be careful. This one I'm going to use u substitution. Let u equal 3 minus y. That means du is equal to negative 1 dy. Remember the derivative of negative y is negative 1. Okay. Now what about this guy? And that guy you guys know it's dx over x is ln of x. So this guy right here is going to give you. Okay. dy is negative. Okay. So we're going to have negative the dy right is negative du so we're going to have we're going to pull out the negative on the outside so negative du over 3 minus y that's your u equals okay and then dx over x i'm just going to leave it because that's just your normal ln of x okay what about this guy well that's going to be negative and then ln of u but ln of u is what ln of 3 minus y okay now what do you do? Well, remember, uh, if when you do the antiderivative, you have the plus c. Now you do have it here as well, but what happens is you bring it over to the right side and combine with the other constant. Does that make sense? So this guy would have a plus c. This guy has a plus c. But what I do is I take the plus c from this side, bring it across, and you still have one one constant combined. All right. So now I have this my ln but i can't take i can't raise it because of this negative here in the front so i'm just going to go ahead and do ln 3 minus y to the negative 1 and then you have ln of x plus c now i'm going to go ahead and raise it power of e okay and what is that going to give me the e and the ln simplify out you're going to be left with i'll do it up here 3 minus y to the negative 1 power which is equal to Remember, e to the ln cancels out. You're going to be left with x times e to the c. Okay. Now, this is the reciprocal here. And you're going to end up with 1 over 3 minus y is equal to some constant c times x. Okay. Well, now from here, I think I can go ahead and use my initial condition to figure out that constant value. So, x is 2. Okay. So, that'll be. 2c and then y is 5 so we're going to get 1 over 3 minus 5 so 3 minus 5 is negative 2 so you're going to have negative 1 half is equal to 2c now be careful here okay dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by uh, 1 half so divide by 2 same thing as multiplying by 1 half so that constant is going to equal to negative 1 fourth okay good Okay, so now I can put that guy right here. So I have 1 over 3 minus y is equal to negative 1 fourth x. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and looks like I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply here. You see, I got to get this guy to the top. Okay, so sorry, I'm running out of room here. 3 minus y is equal to negative x over 4. I'm going to just cross multiply here. So you're going to get 4 is equal to negative x times 3 minus y. I'm going to divide uh, both sides by negative x. So you're going to get negative 4 over x is equal to 3 minus y. And lastly, you're going to take I think I'm just going to take this negative y to the left and this negative 4 over x to the right. So I'm going to take this guy over here, this guy over here. That way, um, 2 for 1 
am able to solve it. So looks like my general equation is, and I'm gonna have to put it up here, is gonna be four over x and then plus three. And it makes sense because uh, this is, uh, it looks like a hyperbola when you go ahead and graph it. So guys, hopefully that makes sense how to separate and how to uh, write the equation of the tangent line because I think this is a key, key FRQ that you guys will probably get. All right, guys, good luck.